I'm sorry, um, if you could just repeat yes. your name and give me an idea of sort of where you are in relation to the project. Right, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to speak. My name is Ruth Heifetz, and I'm, in, I'm involved with the Environmental Health Coalition. I've been a member since its inception. <clears throat> because I think one of the most important impacts on people's health relates to the work they do and the communities they live in. And I, as I said earlier, I'm really concerned about the proposed expansion of a plant that is already generating pollution in the community. And to have that expanded seems to me not a wise uh, decision, particularly impacting um, the general population and more specifically vulnerable populations. Young children, pregnant women, individuals with heart or lung conditions, especially children with asthma. There's no doubt that asthma is exacerbated with the kinds of materials that are generated from plants like the one that uh, is operating here. And older residents. And I suspect there are some of us oldies who live around here, live in this community as well. Um, there are, and they are coming out almost daily, studies that are looking at the impacts of these small particles which until maybe five or six or seven years ago were not even realized to be a potential source of health problems. They've been documented to increase general mortality, to increase lung cancer and heart disease, and also to increase the occurrence of lung and heart disease. In other words, it's related both to increased deaths and increased occurrence. And some recent studies have shown that people may have their heart problems exacerbated, made worse. And those are the kinds of things that are very difficult to document in studies. In the same way that children who may have asthma, you may not see increased asthma, but many of these children have more frequent or more serious asthma attacks. But I think the real concern of the really vulnerable people are the, are the very young. <clears throat> and now these small particle studies have indicated an increase in um, the growth of babies inside the uterus, in other words, more low birth weight babies being born, which can impact both their survival and their ultimate health and development. There's higher infant mortality related to these small particles, and also, as I already mentioned, increased respiratory symptoms in lung symptoms in people who are asthmatics. Um, and I, I guess in, in conclusion, I, I would just like to stress that I think the health impacts of this proposed expansion are very serious, um, that, um, in, that it's not as if they're not alternatives for developing alternative energy sources. Um, it's a violation or a, a not going along with the with the existing community plan. And I think uh, what we need to do is promote environmental justice and not have this plant uh, expanded. <clears throat> our children will be the ones that will be impacted by the plant the most, and they're our future. So I'm hoping that this expansion will not go ahead at the cost of the health of the community. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Very good.